Hey guys, it's Daniel, and I'm back with another video. This is a follow-up video to my introducing myself, and I wanted to talk about how I wanted to get started in my career and everything, where I am right now with it, and how I'm about to go get that, and how I'm going to motivate myself to do all of that. So today I'm going to play FIFA Street. It's one of my favorite FIFA games of all time. I know, fuck EA, I'm sorry. But this was before all that microtransaction, you know, what started. So, let's get started. So, for those who didn't watch that video, uh, my passion started when I wanted to, you know, didn't know what career I wanted to choose. Had no idea what I was going to do in life. Had no idea what I wanted to do. I mean, I was 16 at the time. And being 16, a lot of things can happen. Trust me, especially when you're skipping schools and stuff like that. A lot of things can happen. So at the end of February of 2011, I had to switch schools. My old house, the neighborhood was getting bad. Things were happening. It just wasn't the best for me. It wasn't the best time for myself either. So February, I'll never forget the date. February 28th, 2011 is when I moved into my new school. And not moved into my new school, excuse me, moved into the new house permanently. It was all new to me, and I had no idea what I wanted to do. And went to school, came home, went to school, came home. So the first year kind of sucked. No friends, had one friend. He introduced me to everything, showed me everything, and don't know what happened to him since then. Because I didn't really have class with him after that. I believe this was at the ten end of 10th grade and then all through 11th grade. So senior year comes, and... I'm here not knowing what I want to do. So, I don't know if I want to do marketing. I don't know if I want to do accounting. I don't know what I want to do. So, 16 or 17 it was about, I started listening to... Like, Toonami came back around that time. It was... They made the joke. They made an April Fool's thing. April 1st, 2012. Dubbed the day no 90s kids, kids slept. And I remember that night so vividly. I didn't watch Bleach because I was like, ah, Bleach, I really don't care about it right now. And then the old school Dragon Ball Z came on. And it was amazing to me. Because I've never, I mean, I've seen there is no DBZ on Toonami. But I really didn't get into DBZ until Toonami was going away. And that was about 7th grade, 2007. So, Toonami brought back DBZ. They brought back Tenchi Muyo, which... I watched the whole series of Tenchi Muyo. I think it's amazing still. I watched Gundam. I don't know what Gundam was at the time, but I watched Gundam. And all the stuff, it just, that moment for some reason is like, wow, we have a movement now. Bring back Toonami. No, bring back Toonami. I was like, what's that? It was a Twitter movement. So on my old Twitter account, it was at DJ Do Deuces. That got banned and suspended for reasons that don't know why i guess just twitter hates when people curse and stuff so you can't do it anymore so 2012 we started a whole movement called hashtag bring back tsunami i would tweet that for a month straight i would go online every single saturday and even every single day and when tsunami was supposed to air or when adult swim was playing it was just bring back tsunami bring back tsunami bring back tsunami so we brought back tsunami happens may 26th 2012, Toonami came back. So the whole lineup was Bleach, Dead Men Wonderland, Casher and Sins, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhoods, and I think it was Ghost in the Shell and then Cowboy Bebop, if I can remember correctly. It was 12 to 3, and then it repeated again from 3 to 6. So you're like, Danny, what does this have to do with your whole career? And I'm getting to that. I saw online a podcast called the Toonami Faithful Podcast. Listen to a whole bunch of episodes. Bef no, no. What happened with that? Oh, I know. I didn't know about the podcast. And it happened when I was just surfing Twitter. And somebody had an interview with Kyle Hebert. Now, Kyle Hebert, for you, don't, for you who don't know is the voice of Gohan in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. 
um, they did a podcast with him, and I forgot what they talked about, but that, for some reason, that podcast stuck with me. It was by two people, Paul Pasquillo, which, at Paul Pasquillo on Twitter, and then Jose Argumento, which I don't know his Twitter handle anymore since he changed it, and I haven't been following him since. So, I listened to their podcast more and more and more. And then Jose got more and more in-depth about anime licensing and editing and podcasting. And for some reason, it was just very, very interesting to me, all of that. All of that was very interesting to me. And it's something that was like, maybe this is what I want to do with life. I always wanted to make an anime music video. Never did. To this day, still haven't. Tried to. Didn't work. Because I don't have the proper tools to do it. Even tried using Windows Media uh, Player, to, Movie Player to do it. Didn't work. Don't have an iCloud. Uh, not iCloud. Don't have an iMac. Can't do that. Not an iMovie. But anyway, enough of me wobbling on. Um, it was basically something that interested me. And I remember episode 10 of that podcast, Jose was talking about licensing. I would never forget where I was. Me and my dad are going to a Brooklyn Cyclones game. And here I am. The whole time listening to that podcast during the baseball game about how like anime licenses are working and stuff. I must have listened to that episode like four or five times over because it was something that was really fascinating to me that I really wanted to do. So after high school, I went to college for that. Took single camera operation, multicam studio production never did radio i'm doing that this semester and it's just it changed my life tsunami and that whole podcast changed my life because of it and i really still love anime because of it i haven't watched a lot right now i'm in the middle of watching Yu Gi Oh's zexo i was watching initial d i got through the first five or six episodes of that i need to start jojo's bizarre adventure i know i haven't watched it yet please don't make fun of me and it's just what I want to do. I've been trying so hard to work at anime places. And I still really want to work at Crunchyroll one day. Even if that dream doesn't happen, I'm never going to give up with it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. I'm going to hope so. I, I can do something with it. I mean, when you want something that badly, you just follow your dreams no matter what. And you don't give up with it. You can't give up with your dreams because if you give up with your dreams and they die, you'll live with the regret of never trying it. So that podcast, Jose, who I don't know where he works, and actually I do know where, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want him to get into any trouble, um, just got me into that whole field. I saw people post anime music videos, people talking about licensing. I remember when Cowboy Bebop was unlicensed, when Bondi lost all the license to all their show, we were like, where's Cowboy Bebop going to go? Where's Gundam Wing going to go? Where are all the Gundam shows going to go? Where the heck is Outlaw Star going to go? And just to follow that, for some reason, was just really fun. To follow like where all these shows are going to go. And I got into that. I learned like everything about dubbing. I watched voice actors. I learned who voice actors were. Before, they were just people who just talked to me and just did my anime for me. I didn't know their names. But now I do. I still know a whole bunch about that industry. I haven't really been into anime since 2018, which the last show I almost got through was the original Full Metal Alchemist when that was on Netflix. Don't know if it still is. But anime always holds a sweet spot in my heart. And it's the reason I want to do what I want to do. Now, my dreams may have changed, but that main dream has not changed. And I don't want to give it up either. It's just, it's bittersweet to swallow. And just because you're not good enough at something never means you're not going to amount to anything. You just keep trying, and you keep trying, and you keep trying no matter what happens. So that's the whole thing I wanted to get into my career. Now my whole online story was that I had a Twitter account. It was named DJD Deuces. Love that account. Made so many friends on that account. Just don't know what happened to everybody. After I lost that account. It's just, it was really bad for me because 
I went into a deep depression after I broke up with my first ex. That was the end of 2014, beginning of 2015, and I just didn't want to do anything. But my ex-friend, she said, hey, let's go to an anime convention together. And that's when I really got more into the anime culture, and I just kept going and going, and that motivated me again. But as I said, after losing all those people, I don't know what to do. So I tried to rebuild my Twitter account, which is at DannyAE86. If you don't know what that means, it's basically the car from Initial D, the Toyota AE86. And I'm trying to like find more friends for anime. I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm just trying to get the word out there that I can do it. And that even though there's millions of people that make videos and stuff like this, I will always continue to strive and try to best everybody. Because at the end of the day, it's my career. It's my life. Yes, I have friends. Yes, I care about them so much. But I just don't want to let the passion go. That I really want to do something. That I want to go to Atlanta, work at Turner. Or I want to go to San Francisco, work at Crunchyroll. Or stay right here in New York City and work at NBC, work on Premier League games. Which, these are two Premier League teams playing right now. Um, just really want to do something in that field and I won't give up until I do it not at all so if you guys do want to follow me my Twitter handle is at Danny AE86 I talk about everything from cars to sports to anime to video games to music um, just everything so that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe and all right have a good day guys